Hello everyone, my topic is enzymes used in genetic engineering. Introduction Enzymes play a vital role in genetic engineering. Some of the enzymes are listed below. They are restriction endonucleases, DNA ligases, nucleases, polymerases, DNA polymerase 1, clinow fragment and reverse transcriptase. Restriction endonucleases Restriction enzymes can cut DNA into two ways to generate blunt ends and staggered ends with short single standard overhangs at each end. A large number of restriction enzymes have been identified and classified into three categories. They are type 1, type 2, type 3 on the basis of the site of cleavage. Restriction enzymes have three important features. Restriction enzymes make bre breaks in palindromic sequences. The breaks are usually not directly opposite to one another. The enzymes generate DNA fragments with complementary ends. DNA ligase. Ends of DNA strands may be joined by the enzyme polynucleotide ligase called glue of the recombinant DNA molecule. The enzyme catalyzes the formation of phosphodiester bond between the 3-OH and 5-P terminals of two nucleotides. The enzyme is thus able to join unrelated DNA, repair nicks in single strand of DNA and join the sugar phosphate backbones of the newly repaired and resident region of a DNA strand. The enzymes which is extensively used for covalent joining, restriction fragments is the ligase from E. coli and the encoded by T4 phage. The ligation reaction is controlled by several factors such as pH, temperature, concentration and kinds of sticky ends etc. Nucleases Nuclease enzymes degrade nucleic acids by breaking the phosphodiester bond that holds the nucleotides together. Restriction enzymes are good example of endonucleases which cut within a DNA strand. Apart from restriction enzymes, there are four useful nucleases that are often used in genetic engineering. They are BAL31 and exonuclease 3, deoxyribonuclease 1 and S1 nuclease. Mode of action of nucleases Nuclease BAL31 is a complex enzyme. Its primary activity is a fast acting 3-exonuclease which is coupled with a slow acting endonuclease. When BAL31 is present at a high concentration, these activities effectively shorten DNA molecules from both terminal. Exonuclease 3 is a 3 exonuclease that generates molecule with protruding 5 terminal. DNA, DNA 1 cuts either single standard or double standard DNA at essentially random sites. Nuclease S1 is a specific for single standard RNA or DNA. In addition to DNA, specific nucleases, there are ribonucleases, RNAs, which acts on RNA. These may be required for many of the stages in the preparation and analysis of recombinants and are usually used to get rid of unwanted RNA in the preparation. However, as well as being useful, ribonuclease can pose some unwanted problems. They are remarkably difficult to inactivate and can be secreted in sweat. DNA polymerases. The DNA polymerase that is generally utilized is either DNA polymerase 1 from E. coli or the T4 DNA polymerase encoded by the phage gene. The E. coli enzyme is basically a proofreading and repairing enzyme. It is composed of three subunits each which with a specific activity. They are 5 to 3 dash polymerase and 3 dash to 5 dash exonuclease and 5 dash to 3 dash exonuclease. Clean out fragments. The enzyme is useful for synthesizing short length of a DNA strand, especially by the NIC translation method. The 5 dash to 3 dash exonuclease activity may be deleted. This edited enzyme is referred to as the clean out fragment. The T4 DNA polymerase possesses, like the clean out fragment, only the polymerase and proofreading 3 dash to 5 dash exonuclease functions. Reverse transcriptase. Retrovirus possessing RNA contain RNA dependent DNA polymerase which is called as reverse transcriptase. This produces single standard DNA which in turn functions as a template for complementary long chain of DNA. This enzyme is used to synthesize the copy DNA or complementary DNA by using mRNA as a template. The enzyme is very useful for the synthesis of cDNA and construction of cDNA, clone bank and to make short labeled probes. Restriction enzymes. 
this is a diagrammatic representation of how the restriction enzymes used the restriction endonuclease uh, act as a molecular scissors and the dna ligase act as a joining fragment which will finally give the recombinant dna thank you